implementing autonomous lifelong learning practices. Let's check some ideas. A learning theory explains how it is possible to see the changes that a person experiment by the learning process. For our case, humanist theory. The learning process takes place when a person acts and it has fulfilled potential into the process. Therefore, the student can become autonomous and self-directed. In the case of adult learning process, it is possible to develop an andragogy theory. For that reason, it is important to bear in mind that technology has a role in this process. Sophie Dishon talks about six assumptions of andragogy into technology implications. They are, first, the learner needs to know. The learner needs to be aware why it is important to learn the topic. Second, the learner's self-concept. Adults need to be self-directed, so they need to be scaffolded into the technology part. Third, the role of the learner's experience. Adults want to use their prior knowledge or experiences in tasks. Fourth, a student's readiness to learn. Tasks into technology source should be concrete and relate to the student's needs and future goals. Fifth, the student's orientation to learning. Adults are life or task problem centered into their learning process. Sixth, a student's motivation to learn. Adults like to be rewarded on their increased job satisfaction, self-esteem, and quality of life. Background references. This recommendation is designed to teachers with B2 English language level who are interested in enhancing the development of a technology-assisted autonomous and lifelong learning to all community, including important aspects in students from 21 to 32 years old, with A1 or A2 English language level who don't like to use English to interact with others because they don't trust in their capabilities and feel afraid about making mistakes. Taking into account that, most of them just have the English level they acquired at school so many years ago, and others have graduated recently, and advance in their language level development thanks to the reflective learning process that has given them the opportunity to set self-directed learning strategies and build autonomy by taking advantage of the wide variety of learning tools they have in hand in the web, like songs, videos, and others. Recommendation Taking into account the background references, we recommend setting clear and achievable goals. Establish short-term goals, move adult learners into self-direction. Teachers make them see the relevancy of online learning by giving them short, directed, concrete online tasks that provide the most learning for experience. According to Bandura, a resilient sense of self-efficacy requires experience in overcoming obstacles through perseverant effort. Students who believe they are capable of performing academic tasks use more cognitive and metacognitive strategies and persist longer than those who don't. They get easily a high quality outcome of their performances and get higher self-efficacy which also means development of self-regulation. When deciding the goals for the course, technology-based instruction will be more effective if it uses real-life examples or situations that adult learners may encounter in their life or the job. Pedagogical implications in a tool community. When we talked about a technology-assisted autonomous and lifelong learning community, we don't only refer to a specific methodology based on technology, but also to a specific users to which the methodology is addressed, in this case, adult learners. It is important that teachers acknowledge that learning is an activity rooted in social and cultural contexts. When a context changes, the way people learn also change. This means that pedagogy needs to be not only redone, but also rethought. Nowadays, teachers should take advantage of technology to promote participation, exchange of information, self-efficacy and self-direction on adult learners as they belong to a job market that demands a lifelong learning. But most important, teachers need to evaluate the impact of their teaching methodologies on their learner becoming reflective practitioners. On the other hand, some adult learners are familiar with technology that surround them and each time they have more choice about when and how and whether they manage their own learning. For that reason, teachers need to lead and guide their students to help them to develop the required skills so they can become more and more autonomous, feature that will be fundamental on the learner's lifelong learning.